Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we will be rapidly revising the expanded Ballard score. So expanded Ballard score is a very high yield lecture. It is an important lecture. So we will try to complete it in minimal possible time so that you can be ready for your INESI exam. Now before we begin, I would like to request you to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't downloaded the app, please go down in the description below and you will find the link to the app in iOS and in Android. So please download the app. There are multiple discussions, free lectures in the app that is available so that uh, you can you know, learn. And you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, I share uh, image-based MCQ every day on my Instagram. So expanded Ballard score, as you can see in the photo that there are total 12 parameters, okay? So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six uh, neuromuscular maturity parameters and there are physical six neuro uh, parameters. So physical maturity, there are again six, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so there are six for each. Okay, so there are 12 parameters. And firstly, what do you need to remember? So uh, firstly, we will go into posture. So what is the posture? So universal flexion and universal extension as the child gets more mature, the child attains the posture that, uh, you know, the hands and the legs and the knees and the elbows start to flex. So there is a flexion, generalized flexion over the body because the tone of the flexor muscle increases. You have to understand that the principle of neuromuscular maturity is that as brain develops, as brain develops, flexor tone increases. So this is the uh, principle at which the next is square window sign. How do you check square window sign? You will check, you will take the hand of the newborn and you will try to bend it like this. Okay. The maximum bending and the angle that you can achieve over here below this part. So this is the square window sign. How, how much you can, uh, you know, get the angle. So when the child is mature, the angle decreases. So that is the second square window sign. The third is arm recoil. You will see how the arms can be recoiled. Then the fourth one is the popliteal angle. Now, uh, as the child are premature, the muscle tone is decreased. So you can extend the leg more than, uh, you know, uh, you can hyper extend the leg from the knee. The popliteal, from the popliteal angle, you can hyper extend the knee. So that is why you can see. So highest is in the lowest maturity. While the, uh, you know, this is uh, 90 degrees in the full term child. The scarf sign, you take, you keep the child horizontal, you take the hand and you try to pull the hand maximum as much as can go without, uh, you know, the child getting off the uh, horizontal surface. So if the elbow crosses the midline, the child is more likely to be premature if the elbow does not cross the midline. And the last is heel to ear. In heel to ear, it is something like the popliteal angle of the hip. So uh, it is hyper extension of the hip joint. So that, you know, the yoga people, they do that. They put the uh, legs and they pull the hand, uh, so pull the legs over their face. So their uh, heel touches their ear. So that is possible in premature. But as the child gets more mature, this hyper extensibility decreases. Now, important here, what are the MCQs you need to remember? First one is that plus 5 scoring is given only for popliteal angle. You have to understand this. This plus 5 is only for popliteal angle. The second MCQ you need to remember is that arm recoil and posture have no minus 1 score. Okay. Posture and arm recoil have no minus 1 score. So, this is what you need to remember from the Ballard score from the neuromuscular maturity. The next part of it is physical maturity in which you will see five things. So first is lanugo hair. So lanugo hair are the thin uh, ruati. The, the thing we call it is in ruati. It is the small hair. It is, they are not like this terminal hair. They are very small, small, small hair. Uh, sometimes you might be able to see uh, you know, them on the females. Uh, you know, the females do not have beard hair. They have those lanugo small hairs. And that is why they have to wax and stuff. So uh, I hope you understand uh, that uh, the skin is uh, the most important and in this only the skin is the only parameter with plus five so there are only two parameters with plus five score one is popliteal angle and that is the second is the skin rest all no parameter has plus five okay 
the next is skin. Skin is again depending upon the child. So on the skin, when you can see that how, what is the color of the skin. So red colored, very thin skin is for premature while, you know, the parchment type or scaling skin is for the post mature. The leathery cracked wrinkled skin is usually seen in post mature children. Then you see the plantar surface, plantar surface, you see something like this. If there is, uh, you know, creases over the soul, if you can, if you see your own soul, there are creases. So if upper one third, two third is present or the entire soul has creases depending upon. So more the age goes, more the creases grows. Okay. And here in the plantar surface, you also have minus two and minus one. Okay. That is again, very important minus in the physical maturity. There are only two minus one is eye and ear. And a second is plantar surface. They have minus one as well as minus two. So these two parameters. So there are total four parameters having minus markings. One is posture. Second is arm recoil. Third is plantar surface. And fourth is eye ear. Two from physical and two from neuromuscular. So that is what you have to remember. In the breast, you will see the bud. If the bud is there or the areola, it is a very, very, very subjective sign. And in eye and ear, uh, you can see that what is the movement. Now, a minus two is that eyes are tightly closed while uh, the lids are fused in the minus one, that they are loosely fused. Okay. Now, in genitals, both are different. You can see that if there is formation of labia majora, minora, you can see them separately. Or in males, you can see that if the testes or the scrotum is a rugous, or the scrotum as pigmentation. So four MCQs I told you that uh, firstly you have to remember the ones with minus five, uh, sorry plus five, you have to remember the ones with minus. Then the next MCQs I want to tell you is that what is the range of Ballard score? So it measures the range between 20 weeks to 44 weeks. Okay. It is very simple that uh, it ranges from 20 weeks to 44 weeks and the score is minus 10 to 50. So this is very important that what does, what is the age that Ballard score measures? The next question is at what age is the Ballard score equal to the weeks? So at 40 weeks, the score is equal to the age of gestation. At 40 weeks, the score is equal to the age of gestation. So this is the other thing that you have to remember. Now, some one-liners uh, that you can remember is that in uh, patients for uh, neuromuscular maturity, posture. Posture is the most reliable, most reliable, while the arm recoil, recoil is the least reliable, least reliable uh, of the, for, for uh, detecting the age. While in physical maturity, uh, gonads or ge genitals are the most reliable, while plantar surface, plantar surface are the least reliable among the score. Now you have to remember that, uh, you know, thus NBA scoring is valid only for four days. Like if you did it the, up to the four, four days of life, it is only valid. Also, uh, you know, it is, you just write it down that it is valid for day of, up to the day of life four. It is not valid into, you know, six weeks or later on. And these are the parameters that you have to remember, which, you know, go up to minus two and minus one plus five. And this is how you do the Ballard scoring. Uh, this was the rapid revision of Ballard scoring. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.